Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha, AKA Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto. Based on your votes on the channel, you guys wanted to see this pizza chopple up next. So here we go, I'm here to deliver. They are an amazing keto staple. So let's get into making this pizza chopple. If you've been here for a bit or follow me on Instagram, you know I've been excited about getting this Dash Waffle Maker to see how it differs from the one that I got from Jack's. And we're gonna see just now if it's better, worse, or indifferent. I already had my cream cheese softened at room temperature, so I just got right in ahead and started adding in my salt and seasoning. So I added some coarse kosher salt and some onion powder, and then of course, the flavor god, garlic lovers, I make few recipes without it. Plus, it only seemed right and fitting to add the Flavor God pizza seasoning to the chopple as well. A little oregano. Then go ahead and add one egg to the wet mix and stir until evenly combined. If you guys have been watching my chopple recipes, you know that I am definitely a stand for the halloumi grilling and frying cheese but the Havarti is also suggested for frying, so I wanted to try that, along with an extra sharp provolone for this recipe. Be careful when handling these dash units because the top surface of them is very hot and you could get burned, so just be cautious. You can now go ahead and start layering the cheeses for the base of the chopo. I start with the mozzarella, and then I went in with some of the Havarti as well as the extra sharp provolone to build the base. After laying down your cheese, you can go ahead and add in your egg mixture. Don't be as overzealous as I was, add a little bit less. After about two and a half minutes, I went in ahead and added again the layers of cheese. So some mozzarella, some of the provolone, as well as the Havarti. I then cooked the truffles again for about two minutes until crispy brown and nice like this. Once removed from the dash waffle makers, I put them on a cooling rack to make sure they stay crispy and do not get soggy, preparing them for the next stage of the process. I like to give the waffle maker a quick spray with non-stick spray just for safety. It took a little maneuvering to get the chaffle out of the pan. I don't know if that's the nonstick spray, the new griddle, I'm not sure what it was, but everything worked out okay. I just set the chaffles onto a cooling rack and then went to go get my pizza sauce. The Rouse pizza sauce is super tasty and the macros are legit if you're on a ketogenic diet, super low carbs, I would definitely recommend this sauce. So of course, time to continue building our pizza chapa. We'll add some mozzarella. I top these chapas with some Applegate Farms uncured turkey pepperoni. People sleep on turkey. Turkey is so flavorful and the Applegate Farms variety is outstanding. I already preheated my oven. I set it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and warmed it up for about 10 minutes before putting the chaffles in to melt the cheese. Mm -hmm. 
If you guys know me, you know how I operate. I had to layer on a little bit more seasoning, so some more flavor god, garlic lovers, a little extra dash of oregano. And then I placed the chopples into the oven at 350 degrees on this cooling rack, but within a baking pan for about seven to eight minutes, just enough time to let the cheese melt. Keep an eye on it because everybody's oven heats differently and mine tends to run hot, so just be careful. And there you have it, delicious keto pizza chaffles.